Hey everybody, it's your girl Lavina, and today I want to talk about givers and takers, these type of people, and which one do you think you are? Stay tuned. So you guys, hi, 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 hello. I'm Lavina once again, and if you haven't already, please hit that like button and press that subscribe button as well. Okay, you guys, so today I wanted to talk about givers and takers, okay? Now, these people, and including yourself, you could be, you're one too. You're either a giver or a taker. We're going to talk about it, you guys. Okay, givers are compassionate people. They're helpful people. Um, they're, they're the ones that's always have, that always have something to give, okay? People always give me, give me, give me to the givers, okay? And that includes, uh, your energy. Give me your energy. Or they call you, you know, givers can be listeners too. Let's talk about that. Givers can be the good listening friends we all have, you guys. And, uh, po giver listeners, okay? Because these giving listeners... Now, they will sit on the phone with you for hours and just listen to you, okay? Listen to you talk about that man you done left 20 times and you're back with him for the 21st time. They will listen for hours to hear you cry, moan, talk trash about the man, okay? And they just on that phone listening. Don't you love a good listener? See, and that's in that case... I, I'm not a good listener. I'm not a good giver then because me, I got to interrupt. I got to see why. Why you doing it? Why you keep going back? Mm, girl, ain't you sick of that? Mm, see, good listeners, you don't get none of that. And that's why takers, they call the good old listeners and they drain them. They, they, don't, give a, they don't give a damn if they wake that good listener up out they sleep. And knowing, you know, it's 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, and that good listener got to get up at 7 a.m. That taker don't care, because she know that good listener going to wake up, ugh, wipe the slob out of her mouth, sit up in her bed, and she going to listen to this same old song, same old song, same old song. Now, I believe I am a giver. In a lot of instances, okay, I like to nurture people, you know, like my husband and my kids. I like to nurture, but I am no nonsense, okay? So I'm kind of borderline both. When it comes to my husband, I can be a giver and a taker, and I realize that because um, I'm sure he'll tell you I drain a lot of his energy sometimes, so... You know, but that might be just a part of being married. But let's go back to talking about this giver, listener, friend. Okay? So, this this friend, while she's listening to you, she's neglecting herself. Okay? And takers don't care. They don't care if, you, if they're emotionally draining on people. Okay? Because takers are selfish. Takers is all about them. As long as they get their emotion... Um, they emotion, whatever emotion they going through, long as they get that hit, get that fixed, get it off of them. But when you getting it off of you, you dumping it on to the, uh, good listener. Okay. That's not right. That's not right. And I advise seeking help counseling for issues like that. Okay. Friends are not to be used as psychologists. Okay. Mates are not to be used as psychologists. Even though some are more than willing to be a psychologist, my husband tells me all the time, I need a PhD. Y'all hear me? I ain't just talking to y'all. I'm talking to me too, okay? He tell me all the time I'm good at diagnosing people and I have never, ever been to any medical school, okay, you guys? It's just something in me and I research a lot and I just think, Oh, okay, you need to see somebody. You need some help, okay? <laughs> but I am no doctor. Ain't claiming to be one. But, like I said, takers need therapy, okay? Friends, family members, the homeless guy on the street, they are not therapists. 
Maybe if it's not a therapist, they need some t- some type of support group. Mental health clinics have these available, okay? And they might need a little pill, okay? They might need a little something to uh, help them out at night, okay? Because they are so self-centered, you guys. And takers also will destroy or try to destroy what the givers have. They they try to um they try to disturb the peace. Okay, a taker, you know, most takers got drama, honey. Most takers' lives ain't going, ain't hitting on nothing, okay? Most people that's takers, they have a lot of bad luck. They don't really have that many friends because they lose them quick because people catch on to takers. Smart people or people with a little sense to say, hey, this whole relationship is one-sided, okay, you guys? Y'all getting where I'm going? Those one-sided friendships, where you see you being the friend, you always there for them, but ain't nobody never there for you. That friend, that taker friend, she can't be there for you. He can't be there for you. You want to know why? Because they there to take from you. They there to take your energy, take your money, take whatever you hold near and dear to your heart, Okay. They're going to eventually want a little piece of it. And don't you ever get the big, big bag, honey. That taker going to be the first in line. And some takers, they even hold on. Some of them try to change. Say you check a taker. You say, hey, I feel like, you know, this friendship is like one-sided. You ain't never there for me. You know, I, I don't need friends like that. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to change that. And, you know, they try to, they, 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 you know, it, it's like a crackhead. You know what I mean? They try to, you know, um, you know, they try to make sure they don't do it. Like they try, like it's an addiction. They make sure they don't do it. But every now and then they, they slip, but it's far, far in between. Nah, it ain't happening like every week. Nah, now it might be every six months. You got to check that ass. Like, Hey, look, don't start that. And they're like, Oh, 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 you know what I mean? And they get back in line. You know what I mean? But those takers right there, honey, they think you're going to get something. They think you're going to go to that top, honey. They don't want to be missed. They don't want to miss out on your coattail, baby. They want to hold that coattail. They're going to act like they the, they reformed. They a reformed uh, taker. But you don't be fooled by that now. Nah. You watch a taker real close, okay? So, all right, y'all. That's my point of view on them takers. Now, let's talk about the givers, you guys. The givers can be caught in the most unfortunate circumstances, okay? Because unless a giver probably seeks some help they self in one, one form or another, say if they've been to self-help groups or they seek therapy before, okay? Then they can broaden their, um, open their mind to see like, you know, oh, I've been taken advantage of lately. Oh, I'm not this horrible person because most givers, including myself, sometimes we take on others' pain. We take on others' uh, life. Like, we want to fix somebody. We always want to fix something and help something. You know what I mean? And some people you just can't help. In some situations, you cannot fix. Okay, you guys? Remember that. It's all right to be a giver, but make sure what you're giving and who you're giving it too, they absolutely deserve it, okay? Don't give your whole mind, body, and soul to a taker. Don't give all your money to a taker. Prime example, family members, okay? Say you got a family member. Um, I got a family member like this, but say you got a family member, and for years, you trying to get them to see the other side of life, you want them to have a better life. You done changed your life. Now you want to help somebody else. Okay? And they promise you for years. Oh, I'm going to change. Oh, let help me start the business. Now, see, this is where the taker and the giver come to. This is where it comes. Especially in codependent relationships. Now, the taker who been taken for decades now asks the giver, Hey, help me start the business. And here go the giver. Are you sure you ready? Oh, yeah, I have changed. I have left that stuff alone. I'm going to do good. Blah, blah, blah. And here go the giver. Oh, let me help you create a website. Let me blah. Oh, I'll research that for you. Uh, but then the giver, I mean, then the taker, 
disappear again. Or they go back to their own ways. And now the giver is upset. Whoo, honey child. Upset, disappointed, can't get out the bed. Because most givers, you guys, they take on emotional stress. They will, they will, they, most of them, a lot of times can have depressed, depressed um, issues, okay? They self. Okay, they can be going through uh, depression. That's what I mean, y'all. Depression, some of them. Because when they feel hurt, see, because they give and give and give and give. Okay? And they really want everybody to be like them, but everybody ain't. God just didn't make us like that, y'all. He ain't do it. He ain't make everybody as great as we is, the givers. Okay? But it hurts the giver to the point that sometimes it paralyzes them, y'all. It paralyzes them. Okay? And then what? Now the giver can't get her ass out the bed. Because she's so distraught because it took her and took once again. And she just knew this was going to be the time, y'all. Now how that happen? This giver up here living life, working, making good money, doing everything right. But then here come that, here come that taker. Sneak in through the crack. And destroy everything. For at least a couple of days, y'all, anybody out there feel me? Y'all had somebody, a taker, keep coming in and out y'all life and you allowed it. That's why givers need therapy too. They might need a little piece of something at night too, okay? Because prime example, I, I take on people's pain and my husband hate it. You know, my, my cousin just got uh, shot. Sorry, y'all, I got to charge my phone. But my cousin just got uh, shot. My cousin's son just got shot in the face. And I took on my cousin's pain, you guys. I don't know. It, it might be something in my, uh, it might be a gift, you guys, that I might have. I might be gifted, okay? I might be gifted. So listen, I felt that pain. Like every time I think about something else, that pain hit me, y'all. Y'all ever had that feeling? That pain. Like, it, like, you know what I mean? I just had that much pain for my cousin. And then I saw a video, you guys, and I couldn't get it out of my head. I, not until my son, my um, not until my cousin sent me the video of him, the, a picture of him healing. Okay? Okay? I was going to continue to hurt myself. And take on some, and take on that pain, cause family is family. But you know, you guys, sometimes you gotta, you gotta cut it off. I'm not talking about my cousin situation. I'm talking about them takers. See, my cousin, who I had this much pain for, in my heart, he ain't never been a taker to me. He's a giver. Okay, he a giver like me, and that's his son. Okay, can you imagine? So, but like I said, we gotta them takers, like seek. They will seek and they will find. They creep in and creep out your life. So what I'm doing today, ejecting, ejecting all the takers out of my life, okay? Because mentally, I can't deal with it. And financially, I have nothing else to give. And as far as emotionally, hell, I, I'm trying to be a YouTube sensation. <sighs> I don't have anything to give emotionally. Not one more day. Okay, you guys? So I advise you all, anybody keep calling y'all with all their problems. I don't give a damn if it's your mama, your child, your man, if he don't live with you, your, your husband, your ex-husband, your baby daddy, your baby mama, your cousin, your anybody. You got one life to live and you better start living it with the utmost authority over your life. Okay? Because people will drain you dry and move the hell on. Hell, I'm all in here uh, laid up thinking about other people. What? I'm supposed to be making some goddamn videos. Okay? So we, us, and you, self to note. No, I'm sorry, note to self. Note to self. All that energy we got that God blessed us to have today, you guys. Pour them blessings on yourself. Use that energy for yourself and the, t and the people who you love that's around you that deserve it, okay? And you know if they deserve it or not because their actions is proven. The history of that person has shown you what? 
what has the history of that person shown you? Okay, I ain't trying to make amends with nobody. I ain't trying to talk to nobody. I'm trying to move forward and focus on getting my husband in this mansion, a baby mansion, a better house, something, better living condition, conditions, better financial status, so we can do it with our children, okay? And leave something for them. Now, that ain't got nothing to do with no taker. A taker don't fit into them plans. Because can't no taker come live with me? Can't none of that happen, okay? So, what we gonna focus on, me and y'all, we gonna focus on us. All of our energy on us. In the, in the life we've created or that we're trying to create with the people that's inside the bubble, okay? Because takers is never in the bubble because they only come when they need something. They need you for something. That means that can be listening or whatever. Or they need a couple of dollars. Whatever. They outside the bubble. It's not your regular people who call you just to say, hey, how you doing? I love you. Thank you for, um, you know, going to the store with me. Or do, or do you want something from the store? How about that? Or do you need anything? Or what do you think about this that's not involving anything emotionally draining? Okay, you guys? All right, so that's what we focus in all our energy on. Okay? Moving forward, all that energy goes into the inner bubble. The inner bubble. Okay? And if you don't know what the inner bubble is, then you need a lot of help in life, okay? You need to research it. You need to find a, a pastor or somebody to tell you what the damn inner bubble is. And it, basically, an inner bubble is um, the people inside your bubble who you spend most of your time with, who you care the most about. And you can care a lot about the takers too, but they're not dealing with you on a daily basis in a positive way, okay? If you need further help, seek some, okay? So y'all wanted to come to y'all today with this video on givers and takers. And if you are a taker, you can do something about it, okay? You can change your ways. You can stop calling your family, friends, and whoever else dumping all your shit on them. Okay, please stop doing that. It's not appreciated, all right? Stop doing that, please. And start being there for others, okay? Why don't you be the listener? For a couple of hours and see how it feel without saying anything or without add, giving your two cents god bless you with that but like i said you guys if you haven't already hit that like button that subscribe button and i'll be back with some more videos this week holla at your girl